Hey guys, Broken Tank here. And if you're looking for a strong solo ganking build, you have come to the right place. I will be going over the top 3 weapons and build what I like to use and think are the best weapons for my playstyle. After each build, I will show you a few clips of the build in action. So, many of you will probably know what the first build is going to be. It's going to be the double bladed. The double bladed is really strong in its own way. The double bladed does not pop a lot of damage, but stun your opponent a lot and win the fight because of it. So our build will be the double bladed, together with the fiend cow, the assassin jacket, the hunter shoes, the demon cape, the omelette, and the potion. So how does this build work? On the double bladed, we're gonna use our first Q. The conclusive blow. This will stack up each time you hit an enemy. On the third attack you will stun the target for 2.4 seconds. On your W you are gonna use the stun run. The stun run will give you a movement speed bonus of 30% and the first attack will stun the target for 3.5 seconds. This is your main attack to dismount people together with the demon cape. But we will explain it a little bit later on. Your E is a really great way to get either closer or away from your opponent. But for the main thing, it's used to slow the target for 50% for 5 seconds. Your passive is going to be the stunning strike. Every fifth normal attack, it will stun the target for 0.8 seconds. The Fiend Cow. We're going to use the Purge. What this does is that you purge all the buffs from the target's enemy for after four, uh, 0 0.4 seconds. So if they use any escape boots or special attack like the Mercenary Jacket, the Helian Jacket or whatsoever, you can purge it off them. Your pa uh, passive will be the Aggression to gain a 3.5% extra damage. The Assassin Jacket. The Assassin Jacket we're gonna use the Ambush. This will increase your damage over time the longer you stay in this. But the main reason you wanna use this is when you see an enemy, you will pop in this and hope they won't see you and run up to you. As soon as they are close to you, you will use your W on the double bladed and stun them. The Demon Cape will pop as soon as you hit him and you will dismount them. The passive on the jacket is going to be the Quick Thinker. The cooldown rate by 5.2%. This whole build is about stunning the opponent. The Hunter Shoes. The Hunter Shoes, uh, you want to use them, are the Rush. This will increase your movement speed by 120%, but also the duration of your ground control effects by 35% for 3 seconds. That means your stunts will increase the length. The passive will be as well the quick thinker for the cooldown reduction. As a cape it's going to be the demon cape. It will make a lava pool around the target what you hit and will deal a lot of damage when they stand in it. So make sure to stun the target in your demon cape to dismount them. The potions are really good to use after you have dismounted the guy, so you get the extra damage in. The omelette helps the cooldown reduction to get your extra stuns all the time back. So remember when you use this build, it's not a fight build, it's not that you can outnumber fights, it's a stun build. So you're gonna stun your opponent all the time. If they're gonna fight back, make sure you're gonna purge the right ability from them. If they have any mercenary jacket or healing jackets, purge that over any boots. If they're gonna run, use the purge as soon as you can. Most likely they won't fight back then. I will show you a few clips how to use this build.
the second build. The weapon of the second build is going to be the blood ladder. This weapon is based on dealing a large amount of damage and has a really strong execute. The abilities on the blood ladder for the Q you want to use the deadly swipe. If you hit an enemy, you will gain a charge that will give you a 6% damage increase. This can stack up to 3 times. The ability also leaps forward 3 meters at a time, so you can get closer to your opponent. For your W, you want to use the chain slash. I use this ability to dismount people with, together with my Tetford Gabe. Since you get an extra bonus damage from your assassin jacket, you can almost one-shot them from the mount. Your E is a really strong ability. It's either used to get closer to your opponent or run away from your opponent. But the main thing he is used and known for is execution. People below 40% will most likely die from it. It deals twice as much damage to people who are below 40% health. As for the passive, you would like to use the deep guts, just for some extra damage. Your offhand is going to be the crypt candle. This will give you an additional extra bonus for attacks, but as well weak you against players with the minus defenses. So you watch out a little bit of that. Your helmet is going to be the mage cow. You want to use the potion ability. The T8 will give me a 736 damage over 5 seconds. This helps a lot to get the player below 40% health quick. Passive for the mage cow is going to be the aggression. To gain the 3.5% extra damage. The jacket is going to be the same as the double bladed. You want to use the infis as soon as you see an opponent. Make sure you get enough stacks before you chain slash through the opponent with the Tetford Cape, so you can dismount them straight away. The passive on the Assassin Jacket will be this time the Balance Mind, to get the extra damage in. Our boots are going to be the Soldier Boots. Since we don't have any perch in this build, we want to use the Wanderlust, in case we need to either run or we're going to chase the guy. The passive on the boots are going to be Toughness, to gain an extra defense bonus. The cape is the Tetford cape, like I said before. If you pop your assassin jacket, wait for the opponent to come towards you, you should change slash the Tetford cape will automatically pop on top of him and you most likely will dismount him. As potion you're gonna use the T8 potion, you want to get the highest here to get them fast down below 40%. The same with the food, we're gonna use the beef stew to get an extra damage. This build is really strong and even can multiple players against you. So guys, here are some clips of how to play the Bloodlet and Ganking session. Okay, the last build for today. This build 
you have to have a lot of experience with it and also skill based. It's not the easiest build to pull off and you have to use all your abilities at the right moment to kill the guy. Otherwise you are in a little bit of trouble. So what are we talking about? It is the claw. The claw together with the mage cow, assassin jacket, soldier boots, demon cape, potion and beef stew. On the claw we're gonna use the deadly swipe as the same reason as the blood leather. You can get close to your opponent and your damage will be stacked up. For the W we're gonna use the shadow edge. Throwing a knife in the target direction, stunning the first enemy hit for 2.5 seconds and you will pull behind the enemy. This one you wanna throw out on the enemy, then you wanna hit him one time with a normal attack so your demon cape pops off and then you wanna hit him with the E. What does your E? Your E will uh, keep him in a chain to stun and you will deal a lot of damage. This can be provided by if they have any uh, for sterling cape or a giant horse or anything like that. Then you make sure that you use your shadow edge, use your wanderlust and get close to them and get the E on top of them afterwards. Otherwise your demon cape will pop off and your, your E will pop off but you won't do the damage to dismount them. If you don't execute this right, a players they can easily beat you afterwards because you have used everything you can to kill them. The, the mage cow we're gonna use is as well the same as the blood leather. It's gonna be the potion for the extra damage and the aggression passive for the extra damage. The same for the assassin jacket is gonna be the invis so we can get closer to the opponent. And we're gonna use the balance mind for extra damage. The boots are gonna be the soldier boots with wanderlust to get either move away from the target or to chase them, together with toughness to get extra defense. I hope you guys enjoyed the top three, and I will show you guys now how to play this build. But remember, this build is really hard to play solo, so I would say suggest to play together with another group before you're gonna play this solo. Something's burning on my heart tonight And it's all because of you Something's changing in the air tonight Yeah, it's all because of you